So I have went continued all the way around so that I have 30 of these green double crochets all the way and the last one's going to end right here where the white is. Okay, so then what we have to do after we've got that, we've, we're through with the placemat instructions and we go down to the bottom of the page to the coaster instructions and do uh, round two and that's actually um, the last uh, swirl part that you'll do and that those instructions down there says to pick A back up and to do two, sing two double crochets in the next ten double crochets. So we need to do that. So I'm going to firm my yarn uh, loop back up where I had it really big so it wouldn't come out. And then I'm going to go into these uh, double crochets of the previous round and I'm going to yarn over go into that first one and remember it says to do two so this is a good place where I'm going to start my counting one and then I count two because I want to do two in that same one and then I go to the next double crochet and I say two two and then I go to the next double crochet and I say three three oops lost my Move my yarn out of the way here. And then we go to four. Two. Because I'm, I'm doing two in each one. And then five. Two. And just by me saying two each time, it just reminds me that I have to do two double crochets in the top of each one of those. And you could also count since. Uh, you know you've got to do um, a 10 because it says uh, two double crochet in the next 10 double crochets and that's 20 so you could you could even start counting and go one, uh, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and notice you've got to do 10 more. You could do it that way too. Um, so now I've already done 10 so let's see actually that's one yeah let me make sure one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So now I'm going to do six. And then I'm going to say two. So I'll remember to do another one. Then seven, two, and then eight, two. Whoops. Keep wanting to lose my yarn. And then nine, two, and then the last one, ten, two. Like I said, we can go back and we can uh, we can count those back to here. Uh, so that that's the first one up there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten uh, double cro two double crochets and ten stitches and that's where I'm supposed to be. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to end off the white. Now to end off the white, what the pattern states and what you're supposed to do, uh, it's worded um, that after I do those two double crochet and those ten stitches to do a double crochet in the next stitch, which is just one double crochet. Just like that, one double crochet. And then in parentheses, or in between the stars, it says half double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next and slip stitch in the next because we're, we're stopping, we're ending our white. So I've done the double crochet. Now I'm going to yarn over and do um, a half double and then I've got to do a single because we're getting shorter and shorter stitches and then I've got to do a slip stitch. And what that has done is I have ended off my white I don't have any more white to do and I'm going to just pull that tail yarn through and snug that up because I don't have to do any more white. So now we're going to come back around here to the green and what we're, and all that we need to do is just finish off this green and we couldn't do this before because we didn't have any any white stitches to go into until we we did those ten. So that's why we have to come back to our green and we're just wanting to to snug, you know, 
lower those stitches to end it too. So all we have to do is do a double crochet, one double crochet, which is a tall stitch, and then a half double, pull through all three, and then a single, another shorter stitch, and then the last shortest stitch, which is a slip stitch, just like so, and again, pull through both. And then what we've, do, we've got now is, um, is really our, our coaster is round, it's finished, and then you can just go to the back and run under your, um, with a tapestry needle, and run under your strings and hide your strings. So I've got one here now that, um, that I had finished, but now we have to do our border. And our border is really, really uh, easy, really, really simple, uh, and you may want to use this border really on a lot of your projects. So what the uh, border says uh, on the instructions at the very bottom, it says with right side facing, so not the wrong side, but with the right side facing, it says to join C, which is your border color, and I'm using red, into any stitch and then chain one. So I'm just going to start right here in my white, and I'm just going to put that, take that yarn and just pull that through like so. Uh, and again, when I pull it through, I'm just going to yarn over and pull through a slip, another a chain stitch just to sort of get it started so that it's just sort of in there and it's snugged up. And my, my other uh, other part is on the white. And I don't even know if I did that in the camera where you can see it. Let me do it again because I'm not really sure. I might have been off camera. This little sticker's here to teach me to stay in the middle and I still forget and pull away. So I'm sorry for that. Pull that uh, little loop uh, and then yarn over and pull through again and that just sort of uh, firms your yarn up when I've pulled in that next color. Okay, so now I've got that ready to go. And then I, after I've joined that in, it says to chain one. So I just go ahead and chain one. I mean, I've already actually chained one, but I just chain one again. That works out pretty good. Um, and then it says in parentheses, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in same stitch. So we're going to do that actually um, right here in this, in this stitch right here where I'm at. So I'm going to single crochet, chain two, one, two, and then single crochet again, just like so. Okay. Then it says to skip the next stitch and it says repeat from the star around. Um, and so what it's telling me to do is to follow those same instructions again, which is a single, chain two, and a single again. But before I do that, I want to skip that next stitch right there and just go into the next one. So I'm going to do a single, chain two, and a single all in that same stitch and see that's making our little our little border our little uh, scallop border and we're just going to continue this all the way around skipping the next stitch putting our, putting our hook down into the next one doing a single crochet and a chain two single crochet into that same space skip single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that same space, skip, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that same space. And we're just going to continue that all the way around until we get to the other side and then we're just going to slip stitch because uh, it says slip stitch to the first single crochet. So we're just going to continue around and slip stitch down into that uh, first place where we, where we went. And we'll end up with um, our, our coaster just like this. And then you run your, your tap with your tapestry needle, you run your yarn in uh, underneath, and you've got your coaster. And make a set of four, six of those, uh, tie it with a pretty ribbon and you've got a nice little Christmas gift for someone special. Hope you enjoyed that. Have fun.